Okay, so here is our cube that we created already, and now we're going to create a drawing of our cube. So again, this should already be created, and you should have it saved already. So we're going to go ahead and close this, and we're going to go to New. You can do it either way. We can go to Drawing, or we'll go to New here. Click on New, and we're going to click on Standard IDW for right now. I'm going to give you another drawing template a little bit later, but for right now, we're just going to click on this. This is going to open up a drawing page and we need to modify this a little bit so we're going to go over here to drawing resources click on the plus sign and then we're going to change the the sheet format so we're going to click on the plus sign here and then we're going to come down to C so I'm going to not well, let's see what happens yeah it'll work too uh, just click on the text and click OK and that's going to change our sheet size now we want to change the title block we want to add some information to it so I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to click edit and I want to put my name my name or your your name student name in the title of this project so I'm going to click on company and get rid of that and I'm going to type name and we're going to make this a little bit bigger I believe it's 0.385 so I'm going to just it doesn't give you an option for it, so I'm just going to type it in and then enter. And we want centered, so that's good, and hit OK. And then we're going to change the title. So click on title, and we're going to get rid of that, and then we're going to name this cube 1. And we're going to change make this 0.5. So just highlight that, click it. And 0.5, and we, right now it's off to the left. We're going to center it as well. So once we've done that, there we go. And now, once we have these two items, we can just go up to here to finish sketch, and just click on finish sketch, and we want to say yes. And now we don't can't see the whole drawing right now, but if we go up to this navigation piece right here. We've got a couple of things we can do. We can use the hand to move. We can use this to zoom in and out, or we can click on this little uh, magnifying glass, and that will bring everything back into view. Okay. So now we want to bring in our drawing or our what we created, our cube, in our other file. So we're going to click on base, and then we need to select our file. So we're going to go look for it here, and cube one. Mine just happens to come up and I'm going to kind of drag this over to the side. Now this is just showing what view we're looking at from our drawing. So this is our front view, and this is what we want anyway. Uh, and then we can change the scale. This is a little small for this page, so I'm going to try and change this 2 to 1. Bring it up a little bit. And that's about the right size we want. We want a good view of the item that we're working with. So now I'm not going to click. I'm just going to drag up, and i got a box just above this. This is going to be my top view. I'm going to drag off to the right, and this is going to be my right side view. And then I'm going to go diagonal to this, and this is going to be my three-dimensional view. I'm going to kind of kind of tight here, so I'm going to just bring this down a little bit, bring that up, give us more space, and that's looking pretty good. And we can move this after the fact. Um, but that looks all right. So I'm going to click OK, and you can see everything went to lines and I want to keep this one shaded so I can kind of see the dimensions here so when I hover over this you can see I've got a red kind of outline here so I'm just going to right click and I'm going to go to edit view and I'm going to change actually I'm not going to change anything I'm just going to click on shaded because right now it's hidden line removed but I'm going to click shaded and once I click that hit OK and now I've got the shaded view of my cube Okay, so now I'm going to start adding in dimensions. So instead of place views, I'm going to go over here to annotate. Click on annotate. It's going to bring me to this new menu here. So first thing I want to do is I want to put in my center mark right here on my circle. So I'm just going to click there and it's going to put my center mark. And I also need to put my center lines that will run through that are hidden right through the, the top view here. So I'm going to click on center line. And I'm going to click here, and I'm going to drag it up, and where I go, a yellow, I'm sorry, where I have a green mark, I'm going to click there, and just go up a little bit more, and then it'll finalize that. I also have a center line going through here that's hidden, so 
just going to click here where it lights up green and where I get a green mark here on the opposite side and bring it across and there's my center mark there. So now we get our marks in that we need to place. Now we can actually start adding or I should say putting in some numbers. So click on dimension and I'm going to start let's start in kind of the, the vertical here. So I'm going to start here start at the bottom and I'm going to click on the center of this and drag off to the left. Okay, that's one inch. And it's going to put the number in for you. Uh, click here and I go to the top of the cube here. Okay, and then one more bottom to top here and drag that off. Okay, now I'm going to do the from left to right as well. So I'm going to start on the left side and I'm going to go here and bring it down here and to the center, bring that down, here, here, bring that down, and then on one side to the other, bring that down. Okay, now what we have to do is also do the, this is the top view, so this is going from the front of the cube to the back of the cube, so I'm going to put in the dimensions there, so again I'm going to start here and then go to the small square, bring that over, from here to the back of the small square, bring that over, and one more from the front of the, of the cube to the back of the cube. And there we go. Now we've got one more dimension that's important. We need to put in the diameter of the circle. We don't have that yet. I mean, we can guess, but we need to have, have it drawn in. So all you need to do is click on the circle, and you're going to drag this off and a click and there it is it's one inch diameter right here so those are our dimensions we can also add some text for as far as our views so we're going to call it just name them so it's going to be top view and we'll go change this to 0.5 and we can go ahead and just type top and then down here we're going to do our front view Again, we're going to change this, keep it consistent, 0.5 for demonstration here. I may have you do a different size depending on your drawing, so you need to pay attention, but go ahead and make this the front. Okay, and then over here, we'll put in side, okay, 0.5, and side. Make it all capital, make it consistent. Oh, and then we're going to change this one too. We'll go back. So it's off click. Okay. Just hit escape. I want if I want to correct this, let me show you what I did here. I have to if if I'm in text and I want to change this again, I have to hit escape and get myself out. And you can see that went away. Um, and then I can click on this, double click on it, and now I can go ahead and edit it. So now I'm going to say top, hit OK, and that just changes that. So there we go. So, and I can move these, get them lined up a little bit nicer, and I know I don't have a lot of room here. I can maybe bring that down. I think that might be a little bit better. You can actually move these to, there we go. So if I want to move these, here's how I'm going to do it. I'm just going to click off all my tools and then I can use this to drag in or drag out, bring it forward, bring it back. Um, and I can actually just move this piece if I want over. But I'm kind of running into my title block over here. So I don't want to do that. So let's bring it over a little bit. And I know I've got my dimension there, so I'm going to just bring this up just to keep it together. That's looking pretty good. So once you have all your dimensions in, you have your center lines, you've got your center mark, you've got your diameter, you've got your cube shaded, uh, go ahead and save it and print off a copy and give it to me and I will correct it and tell you what's good or what needs to be changed and we'll go from there.